after the success of last year, the Oxford International Arts Fair is taking place here again at the Oxford Town Hall. Organised by the Global Art Agency, the AIM seeks to showcase a variety of artwork from across the world, whether that be Belgium, South Africa or the UK itself. The Global Art Agency, who ran the event, were established in 2010 and have since grown to an international level, collaborating with some of the most recognised names in the art industry and a number of award-winning organisations. They have organised other big art events, including the Barcelona Showcase at Goldie's Casa Batlo and the Vienna Showcase at the Palace of Chaubon. The selection was based on photographs, illustrations, paintings, crafts and sculptures. At the fair, art collectors and art enthusiasts had a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to buy directly from artists that had flown in especially for the event. It marked a unique experience for both exhibitioners and spectators alike. So each of these pictures is hand-drawn and then hand-cut and very often they're done on a grid first so I know that the um, paper won't fall apart when I've finished cutting it. And then the idea is that they're in a box frame so they cast a shadow behind the paper when they're lit. Fantastic. Wow, and, and what was the inspiration for this? Why this rather than painting? I actually do both, but okay. I love the strength of paper cuts and I love the whimsy of them. I love that you can put many different meanings and ideas into them. And in fact, they're all inspired by my son, who's four, and the stuff that he comes out with and the ideas he has and the things he does. So there's a great deal of romanticism in there. What brought you here today? Yeah, I'm having uh, book number 79, Lakshagi, uh, all our portraits. So are you one of the artists here? Uh, no, I, I replaced for him because he couldn't come here. So it's my uh, it's our gallery. Ah, and where are you from? I'm from Malaysia. What brought you here today? Why I'm, I'm here? Yeah. Well, I'm interested in art. I would like to see different inspirations, so I do art myself and I want to see just a bit how it works okay. or what people do, what, what difference are there. So you paint yourself? Yeah, kind okay. of, sometimes. And what do you think of today? Well, I, as I said, I haven't seen that much yet, but uh, so far I really enjoy it. I like that a lot of different things, that you a lot of different kind of art of stuff, so there are a lot of people, so it's interesting. Hello, I'm, my name is John Ryan, and I specialise in painting the Scottish landscape. Um, and I work exclusively in oils using a painting knife. And here you can see uh, examples of the work. So tell us a little bit about this this central photo in particular. What what was the inspiration yes, for that? This painting is um, the title is Concrete Bob's Glen Kit Glenfinnan Viaduct, and Concrete Bob is a nickname for Sir Robert McAlpine, who was the first um, designer architect to use reinforced concrete in a serious way. Hence the name Concrete Bob. How long did this particular piece of art take you? Um, the paintings, um, rather like you know, decorating at home. Everything's in the preparation, mm. so one has to be thoroughly familiar with the landscape. Um, a lot of photography, a lot of sketching, and then you have to decide on the, the right direction of light, etc. And all this is done in sketches in advance of the painting. And have you been painting all your life? No, um, I used to sell um, paintings to my teachers at school a long time ago, but when I went to art school, um, we were encouraged to do something more commercially orientated. So um, I chose product design, and I had a design practice uh, up to about six years ago. And in recent years, I've uh, rediscovered my painting and uh, got going with it in a more serious way. Oh wow, yes, you can yeah. tell. It's absolutely amazing. Mm. Thank you very much. And what's your name? I'm Yvonne Jones. And your artwork is from? Well, I'm, I was born in Oxford and I'm based here. And um, I do all kinds of different artwork. Um, at the moment, I'm mainly doing landscapes in watercolour. 
but I also use acrylic paint. Um, I also do botanical paintings and sketches and human and animal portraits in pencil or watercolour. What did you think of today? Well, it's very lively and a huge range of very different kinds of art which, and, and an amazing amount of people who are showing an interest in art, I thought. It was quite encouraging. Was there anything that caught your eye in particular? Well, I have to uh, plead an interest in the, uh, in the uh, art of my daughter, Grace Exley, who does fantastic work with felt tip pens. Wow, okay. Yeah, very vibrant and colourful and quite subtle at the same time. Okay. The event was a fantastic opportunity to view a selection of art from across the world. On such a gloomy day, the fair came as a ray of sunshine and it was brilliant to talk to both spectators and artists alike. This is Naluka Kavanagh reporting for Chairwell.